Other benefits of printer spreads and impositions. Knowing what printing and position your printer will use allows some value added flexibility when printing. Some adjustments you can make as a designer if you know the imposition that will be used include, one, you can add more color. If you designed your project as one color, let's say black, with a few selected pages printing in full color using cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, but understand that four color printing plates are needed, whether one or all eight pages on the back side of a signature print in color, you can easily add more CMY, cyan, magenta, and yellow to those other pages that you thought were just going to print in black. Two, you can remove color to save money. The same idea works in reverse. Instead of asking for a 4 over 4 cyan, magenta, yellow, and black over cyan, magenta, yellow, and black printing quote, you can explain to your printer which pages print 1 over 1 and which print 4 over 4. You don't have to pay for cyan, magenta, yellow, ink, and plates if none of your pages print in color. If this is the imposition that your commercial printer is using, and pages 2, 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, 14, and 15 are all printing on the back side of the sheet, if you design all of those pages to just contain black ink, you can get a 4 over 1 quote, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black over black, meaning that pages 1, 4, 5, 8, 9, 13, 12, 13, and 16 will all print in cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, so you can add as many color images to those pages as you want. 3. You can optimize press sheet space. Knowing 16 pages fit per press sheet can come in handy. When designing a 28-page booklet, we will be forced to use a 16, an 8, and a 4-page signature. Depending on the quantity of booklets being produced, it is most likely cheaper to print this job on only two press sheets, meaning we'd have one press sheet that has a 16-page signature and one that has an 8 and a 4-page signature, leaving enough room for an extra four pages. This means we can manufacture a 32-page booklet for basically the same cost as a 28-page booklet. Sometimes it is even cheaper because a 32-page booklet uses just two signatures, while a 28-page booklet requires three, and each signature needs to be trimmed, folded, and assembled or bound into the book, adding an additional cost per signature. Take a look at these examples here. These represent our two press sheets. On the first press sheet, we'll run a 16-page signature on both jobs. So on the first one, we can fit 16 pages, so we print 16. Now you might be thinking to yourself that only looks like 8 pages, but this is the front of the press sheet. We would flip it over and we would print 8 more sheets on the back. Then to create a 28 page booklet, we would have to print an 8 page signature. There's 4 pages on the front. If you flip the sheet over, you'll print 4 on the back. And then 4 more, 2 on the front and 2 on the back. 16 plus 8 plus 4 equals 28 pages. However, that leaves a big hole on the sheet where I could easily add 4 more pages. And I wouldn't want to add a four-page signature because our rule is we'll always use 16-page signatures unless we can't. And so if I add four more pages, our book goes from 28 pages to 32 pages, or 16 plus 16. And so in my second example here, I could easily run a 16-page and another 16-page signature and use the same exact number of sheets as if I was printing a 28-page booklet. Number four, you can utilize wasted space. Maybe we don't have the option to add four pages to the booklet example from the previous slide, so we're stuck making a 28-page booklet. In that case, we can still use our knowledge of printer spreads to know we have unused space on the press sheet. If there is something else in our pipeline that uses or can use the same ink colors and paper with a relatively similar quantity, we can request the two jobs be printed at the same time. Sometimes you can throw business cards on a press sheet if somebody needs business cards and it's too expensive to print them in four, four colors, but you have enough room for a three and a half by two inch business card, you can toss that on. In our example here, I'm running my second signature. So this is the same signature from the first example here. I'm running it as an eight and a four because I have to have that 28 page booklet, but I figured out that I could put some other stuff on the sheet and I'm gonna print that at the same time. And then you can distribute the cost to various clients. You can explain to them that they're gonna run at the same time as another job in order to save them money and it's value added for you and for the customer.